Hey guys, in this video, we're going to get started again with Pro Protopy and some of its awesome features. So in this video, what I want to do is I want to create a control that basically dragging it or like doing something with it actually changes uh, the object's size or rotation or let's say the 3D effect or whatever it is. So let's just go ahead and get started. Like while I'm starting, do subscribe to hit the bell icon and do like the video if you like it. So let's go ahead and say, please change my size and 3D effect or whatever it is. So now that we have that, let's just go ahead and actually center it. Uh, let's go ahead and make it probably bold. And I think let's just, yeah, let's just do this. So we're going to create a rectangle here or and this is going to be our shape. I'm going to rename it to shape. Let's just give it a size and a width of 100 by 100 so we can just stay consistent here. Let's just go ahead and give it a color, maybe something like this. Give it a border radius of 12. And here we have our shape, which we want to change the size of. Let's just go ahead and create another rectangle here. So here we have a rectangle, which is going to be our bar or our sliding bar now let's just go ahead and create an oval here so i'm going to go ahead and create an oval of a size of 24 by 24 let's just go ahead and center it also add a border radius here to hide the edges and change the color of this knob and let's go ahead and name it knob as well so now i've changed that to knob we have a knob and then what we want to do is if we slide this left and right this the size of this object should increase so first of all we obviously need to go ahead and group things because grouping things actually allows us a lot of features not only does it look good but it also allows a lot of things so this is going to be our drag control or our drag container and then this is going to be our knob and this is going to be our drag bar or just we can just call it bar just for the simplicity so now that we have our knob, let's just go ahead and add a trigger. We want to add a trigger of drag. And I want to say that if I drag it, if I basically drag this thing, this should move. Now we have to define what the dragging direction should be, whether it should just move all around, it should be up and down or left and right. I'm going to say it should be left and right and it should be limited to the container. So now if I preview it, as you can see, it's limited. I'm moving it left and right. It's being contained within the container that we created for it. And again, this is one of the reasons why containers are so useful. And let's just go ahead and actually increase the size of this as well. Or maybe just slightly smaller. So now that we have that done, what we want to do is when I, let's say, move this left and right, one thing I first of all want to do is pick the right position, which is going to be 232. So let's just go ahead and have that there at the back of our heads. I'm gonna say when this thing drags, I wanna do something. So we use the chain conditional for that. And the chain conditional actually listens for something that's going on on a particular uh, layer. So it can look at the X position, it can look at the Y position, a bunch of other positions. Right now, at least for right now, we just wanna mess with the right position or sort of the X and the X position. So I'm going to say if the X position of this knob changes, then we basically want to have the range from 0 to 232. 0 is going to be when it's on the left. Then what should happen? We need to define that here. And if it's on the right, which is 232, what should happen? We need to define it here. So since we're actually just changing the scale, let's go ahead. We can see that it's by default 0 and 0. So I'm going to go here uh, 100 by 100. So I'm going to say if it's on the left, this knob is on the left, then the height and the width should be zero by zero. And if it's, let's say, on the further right, then the height should be maybe 300 by 300. So let's go ahead and have a look. So one mistake that I've done right away is that I've changed the size of the knob, which obviously I didn't want it to do. I wanted to change the size of the shape. So now let's go ahead and have a look at it. As you can see, I'm actually rotate, uh, increasing the size just by using the knob. One thing is I want this knob or this shape to resize from its center position. And in order to do that, I have to go on the shape itself and change the origin point for this particular shape. So now that I've done that, as you can see, the shape is resizing from the center. 
I also think that the size that I've given it is a bit too much. So let's just make it 200 by 200 and let's make this 50 by 50. I'm also going to change this to 50 by 50 here. So it's probably a bit smaller when, when it begins. And then as you can see, we have the resize thing going on and it looks awesome in my opinion. So now that we have that done, one other thing that we can do is, first of all, let's go ahead and reduce it since it was too big. Now we can again have any other interactions here as well. We can say that I also want to change the 3D rotate. And I want to say when it's zero, the 3D rotate should be zero. But when, let's say, it is uh, at the end, what we want to do is we want to rotate it uh, vertically or sorry horizontally and let's just give it an angle of 360 degrees and see how that looks so if i'm rotating it as you can see it's being rotated as i resize this thing and that's pretty much what i wanted to demo for this video if you like the video do subscribe to hit the bell icon one other thing i just like to point out that aligning items in prototype is extremely easy as well if i basically press the command Control C key, it's basically going to align things to the center and that and that I mean horizontally and then command control left arrow is going to make it uh, push it to the left command control right arrow is going to push it to the right and similarly here and then command command control bottom is going to push it to the bottom command control top is going to push it to the top and command control M is going to push it to the center. So that's really important. Just a few things about the align tool as well and the align shortcuts. I definitely don't want you to go here and use the align alignment options. I want you to start using these shortcuts. So basically what you have to remember is command control and then basically start using the, the up and down and the left and right arrows. And remember, in order to center it horizontally, you need to use the C key. And in order to center it vertically, you need to use the M key, which is the middle. So that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Do subscribe to hit the bell icon and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.